AITAH for refusing to remove a piece of jewelry at the request of my friend on her wedding day? My, 31 female, friend, 30 female. We'll call Mary, got married last week and I was in her bridal party. For context, we are friends from high school and all of her other bridesmaids were her friends from college who I hadn't met until her bachelorette party several months ago. I also wasn't familiar with anyone at this wedding outside of Mary's immediate family. I was supposed to attend the wedding with my own fiancé but he contracted COVID five days before we were supposed to leave and made the choice to stay home for everyone's safety. I tested negative and we don't live together. Our fifth anniversary of our first date was two months ago and he got me a beautiful opal necklace on a gold chain specifically to wear to the wedding because it complimented my bridesmaid dress. I asked Mary in our bridal party group chat if she was alright with us wearing our own jewelry to the wedding, she said no problem. Day of the wedding comes, all of us bridesmaids and Mary meet early in the morning for pictures outside the chapel. Mary sees my necklace and loves it, and actually asked if she could switch her necklace with mine. Some other bridesmaids chime in and say that it would be her, something borrowed. I tried as politely as I could to tell her that my fiancé got this for me to wear to the wedding and especially since he can't be here, I'd like to keep it on. Mary and the other bridesmaids were persistent, saying it was her wedding and her pictures and I wasn't being accommodating, but I firmly told them no. Mary then said if I could at least take it off since it looked nicer than her own jewelry. Again, I told her I'd rather not. I'd like to share the wedding photos of myself in the necklace with my fiancé. She was not happy, neither of the bridesmaids were either. I received a lot of cold shoulders and dirty looks at the ceremony and reception. I felt awful. After the first dance, Mary's sister came up to me to tell just how upset Mary was and rude it was that I upset her so on her big day. Am I an asshole? It's been more than a week and I'm still thinking about it non-stop and Mary hasn't answered any of my texts. Not the asshole. The, something borrowed, needs to be a token lent willingly. Not something taken by force or pressure. Your friend was way out of line. Is it just me? But now I want to see a picture of this fabulous necklace. Not the asshole. Even if it weren't a gift from your fiancé, it was your right to say no. Too many brides feel that because it is their wedding that they can demand anything they want from their bridal party and guests. How long before we hear about a bride demanding a kidney from her bridesmaids? since it looked nicer than her own jewelry. There it is. It was never about the, something borrowed, crap, she was envious of your necklace. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. She's being a huge bridezilla. I would never imagine asking someone for a necklace they are wearing. Let alone ask you to take it off after you said your husband bought it for you. Sounds like you need new friends op. This one doesn't pass the vibe check. Not the asshole wow. I wonder how her new husband feels knowing that instead of thinking about him and their new life together she was obsessing about you and your necklace? Imagine being so upset over something so petty. I would bet good money that if you did let her wear it for the wedding, she'd have to keep it because it had sentimental value to her. Not the asshole. What is it with brides acting like that they're entitled to ee -e 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 everything because it's their wedding day? Not the asshole op. Am I the asshole for kicking my roommate out and causing them to be homeless? I, 25F, live in a two-bedroom studio apartment. I live with my roommate, Cassidy, 24F. Our moms are best friends and wanted us to be close. Cassidy needed a place to stay after her parents kicked her out and I let her stay with me. Her parents found out that she was working in the adult industry and she was bringing guys back to their house in the middle of the night. The apartment and lease are under my name and I told Cassidy that I would appreciate if she would contribute to food and helping keep the apartment clean. I was okay with her bringing guys back as long as she gave me a heads up in advance. I work into the night and don't want to come home seeing a random people in the apartment. I came home one night after working a double shift and saw a few guys on the couch and Cassidy nowhere to be found. I told the guys to leave the apartment before I called the police and laid into Cassidy when she got home. She called me a bitch and that I can't tell her what to do. We got into a heated argument and I told her to pack her stuff and leave. She started to cry and begged me to let her stay. She did leave and went to stay with one of her guy friends. My mom texts me and thinks I was too harsh. Am I the asshole for kicking my roommate out? Not the asshole. I think your mom needs to rethink her priorities. She brings strangers into your house without giving you a heads up, not the asshole. Question did she pitch in with living expenses or keep the house clean? Not the asshole. But also, I think you played yourself on this one. She sucks, but what were you expecting? 
Your problem is the exact same thing her parents objected to, in part, random guys in the house. Throwing her out with zero notice because she's doing exactly what she's been doing seems like a serious lack of foresight on your part. Info. What do you mean by two-bedroom studio? A studio by definition has zero bedrooms. Not the asshole for asking her to leave. But I think you set yourself up for this kind of situation because you knew this was one of the reasons her parents kicked her out. What weirds me out is that you came home to find several male strangers in your house alone it sounds like. How did they get in? Did your roommate give them her key or make copies of her key for her friends? You have no way to be certain that she didn't. I'd change the lock on the door as a security safety measure. NTA. Remind your mother that any one of those men Cassidy brings home could rape and or murder you. A two-bedroom apartment isn't a studio. A studio apartment is just one big room with no bedrooms. Just so you know. So. Your friend is a prostitute and brings clients to your home where she leaves them unattended. And you are asking whether it was okay to kick her out? Seriously? Not the asshole but Comon. What did you expect? Am I the asshole for being a downer at my husband's grad celebration? My 30SF husband, 30SM, is graduating college. His class decided to go out to celebrate with drinks after their exams. He said significant others weren't invited. I had a routine checkup with my primary just before the celebration started and she found a lump on my breast. I'm young, but have a history of breast cancer on my mom's side. My aunt died before the age of 35 from it. She wanted me to get a biopsy that day and referred me to the correct place. It was going to be a few hours before they could see me as they were doing her a favor and it was obviously short notice. I was a crying mess, so my husband reluctantly agreed for me to come wait with him at the bar for my appointment time. I got to the bar. Introductions were made and although I was quite scared, I felt I was nice to everyone and as talkative as I could be. I left my husband at the bar with his classmates and went for the biopsy, followed by a mammogram. It was terrifying, but my doctor was great and a nurse held my hand through it all. When I got home, my husband was pissed at me. Apparently I offended his classmates because I was standoffish and rude to them, and in their words, just an overall downer that brought down the mood of the celebration. He said I embarrassed him and he regretted having me join them. I now feel terrible like I ruined his day to celebrate with his friends and maybe should have just kept the situation to myself so as not to bring him and them down. Edit key points yes. Husband knew all details of cancer scare as soon as first APPT ended. I'm the only one working while he's in school. I do not pay for his school. And just in case anyone other than the super kind person is wondering. I've taken him to a nice dinner after every milestone was passed. And as a consolation if things haven't gone great. I worked a side job while he's in class to save up secret money and bought him a private deep sea fishing charter for his graduation gift. I am not a bad wife. I do what I can within my limited means. Wait. Let me get this straight. You discovered something possibly life-threatening and at least life-altering, and instead of your husband staying at your side and help you through this experience, he choose to go to a celebration? And, let, you wait with him in the bar before scary exams? And then had the audacity to be mad about your mood? Holy cowgirl, this calls for some serious conversation between you two but honestly? I see red flags all over. Not the asshole big time but your husband definitely is. Not the asshole. Your husband was unsympathetic, unsupportive and plain cruel. And his friends were damn out of line. There's no way I'd even listen to my friends criticizing my partner like that, let alone repeating the message to him. You were getting a biopsy and mammogram, in itself a scary thing but worse because you've a history of cancer. And not only did your husband not go with you, but he criticized you for acting down? I hope he changes his attitude. Ah, I see husband is graduating from asshole university. Good luck on your health. Not the asshole. Not the asshole did your husband know that your doctor found a lump? What the ever loving hell. He is mad at you for being a downer, rather than supporting you. Whoa. That. That is messed up. I hope your tests come back with good news and your husband grows a heart. Edit to remove a letter. Info. Did your husband know what was happening? I ask because if my fiancé knew that I was in the middle of a cancer scare and he decided to stay at a bar with his classmates, we would no longer be engaged. Not the asshole you're having a health crisis worried that you might have cancer and he's upset because it was a downer for his evening at the bar? Husband sounds like an ass. If my wife was in your situation, I'd be there with her, not at a bar with my friends. Doesn't matter what I'm celebrating or how proud I am about graduating. 
Not the asshole, and I have to ask the obvious question why are you married to this awful, awful person? You do realize that other women would not put up with this? Not the asshole. Your husband sounds like a shit. I hope he apologizes when he sobers up, and, most importantly, that your tests are clear. Would I be the asshole for suing my boyfriend for not paying my medical bills? I, 21 female, have been with my boyfriend, 24 male, for 4 years. We are both in college and don't have a lot of money altogether because of that. I have more money saved up, but that's only for college so I don't really even consider that money that I have, if that makes sense. So I am deathly allergic to peanuts and it has been this way my whole life. I was told even the smallest speck could kill me. I have been very careful and in my entire life, I've only had to use my EpiPen twice. My boyfriend knows this, yet he continues to eat peanut products but I just make sure not to kiss him when he has had something peanut that day, he washes, etc. Personally, I never liked that he just didn't stop because I feel like he was putting me in danger but I also couldn't force him to stop either and it has worked for the past for years. What happened? So he came over into my dorm and we were just hanging out and he kissed me and a couple of minutes later I could feel my throat swelling and my lips getting bigger. I instantly knew that I was having an allergic reaction. I grabbed my EpiPen and shot it into my leg and told my boyfriend to take me to the ER. Even with the EpiPen I was struggling and was nearly passing out, my boyfriend was really freaking out too. Once I got to the ER I was taken in and the last I remember was passing out on the wheelchair in. I woke up and my reaction was down and I was having the side effects of the adrenaline, but overall okay. I got my phone out and my phone was blown up with apologies on how he forgot he ate a Reese's cup and he was so sorry and to please forgive him. Once I finally got home and settled down, my parent picked me up. I told my boyfriend he should be responsible for my medical bill and a new EpiPen, the other one my school has, and he was telling me he has no money and he can't, and that I have more money than him, etc. I was pretty peeved off at him because he just nearly killed me and now he won't even take responsibility for my medical bills. Well, word got out to his family and I received rude texts from his mom saying it's my allergy so I should have to pay the medical bill, and I was the one irresponsible. I got mad and texted my boyfriend saying it was dumb to bring his mom into this then proceeded to say if he doesn't I'm going to take him to small claims court because I don't have an extra $5,000 to spare for a medical bill. He got very upset and I'm pretty sure our relationship is over now. I've gotten a lot more texts from his mom now, and from his sisters and I'm choosing to ignore them. My parents agree with me that I should go and do that, but I'm just not sure. So WIBTA? Edit. I would also like to say in the past, and I have on texts, we've agreed if he had any peanuts he needs to tell me, which he did not this time. Not the asshole, but it was irresponsible for you to let this relationship go on so long with someone who clearly doesn't care about putting your life at risk. I'm not sure if you'll win that's better served for another thread but I don't think you're the asshole for expecting him to take responsibility for coming to kiss you right after eating a life-threatening allergen. Not the asshole you've been in a relationship with him for four years and he forgot he ate something you're allergic to? He clearly doesn't care about your well-being. If someone I loved had a deadly allergy I would do everything in my power to keep them safe. Why won't he do that for you? I'm not really sure this is an am I the asshole question. The two questions here are. 1. Do you have a case? Head on over to our legal advice. And 2. Are you okay with your relationship ending over this? Because if so, then yes, go ahead and sue him. And please note that I don't mean that with any judgment. Your boyfriend sounds like he has been incredibly cavalier with your life. I would be equally pissed off in your position, and I am very interested in whether you would indeed have a winning case against him. Esh. He refuses to stop eating peanuts even though they could kill you. You know he keeps peanuts around and disregards your deadly allergy but you keep him around you and you just randomly kiss him. He's an ass and you lack self-preservation skills. Esh. You know you could die but you're staying with a guy who puts you in danger. Then when you are in danger, you expect him to pay. You have a weird relationship, and he doesn't love you. FYI, you can win in civil court and maybe even be awarded money, but it doesn't mean he'll pay. Not the asshole. This showed how little he actually values you. Sue and dump him. If he forgot once, he'll do it again. Not the asshole you won't win, but you should definitely break up. Not the asshole. My best friend is dating a guy who is deathly allergic to peanuts. They've been together for five years, and I swear her favorite thing about girls' trips is getting to eat peanuts. Because she doesn't eat them unless she's literally in a separate city for days. 
It's a sacrifice she's happy to make because she loves him. Your ex is an awe. 